Hi guys, welcome to another conversation with B. Um, so lately I've been reading Facebook stories, posts, and just interacting with different people. And I just realized how much so many of us have been going through life acting like we're okay, yet we've been harboring so much pain, so much unforgiveness, so much wrath, you know? To a point where sometimes you just literally wish the ground would just open and swallow up that person that did something to you. 22 years of my life, trust me, I've experienced my own pain. I've been hurt by people I'd have never imagined being hurt by. I've experienced failures and setbacks that I would have never, ever seen coming. Because sometimes you may be a good person with good intentions, but people will still hurt you. People will still disappoint you. Things may never still go well for you. Um, I've come to realize, and if you're a Christian, you can agree with me that in as much as we are in this world, we're definitely not of it. Whichever point of view you choose to look at it, but we are definitely all a product of something bigger and greater than ourselves. You know, none of us has full control of what happens to us or around us. You see, um, I literally had to understand that. And when I understood that, it got me to a place of surrender. It got me to a place where I knew that I'm not in control of my life. I'm not in control of circumstances, you know, but I... I am in control of whether or not I allow them to affect me, to define me, to change my perspective, to change my view. I mean, take for instance, have you ever interacted with people that are cheating in a relationship and you ask them why? And they say it's because they were faithful and loyal, but they were also disappointed. So they decided to become that exact same thing. And you know, it's really sad, but it just shows us how powerful these toxic emotions can be if we allow them. They can literally control us and define who we eventually become. And so many people say that time heals, but trust me, I've experienced things that years passed, but I still felt the same. It wasn't about the time. It was about me coming to a place where I decided to let it go, you know, to rise above my circumstance, to stop feeding that shame, to stop feeding that pain, to stop feeding that failure, because you know, there's some things that we may never understand. There's some answers that we may never get. Some explanations will never be met. We may never understand why your father walked out when it mattered most. We may never get to a place where we really understand why a mother would abandon her own child, you know? Why that accident had to happen. Why that sickness had to take away that loved one. Why understand why you had to grow up in a broken home, yet all the other families seem to be doing well. You know, there's so many things that happen around us that change us, that shape us, and they leave us so angry, so mad at the world to a point where they literally define who we are. They change our perspective. They take our innocence. They take our faith. They take our courage. They take our self-worth. Personally, I had to realize that I will never move on until I make a decision to just let go, to just forgive, to just be at peace with the situation. Because, you know, most times you may be holding on to these feelings and emotions towards other people or institutions and organizations when in actually since those people are are doing well they're doing fine they've moved on with their life they will never explain they will never ask for your forgiveness so you have to make the first step to forgive yourself to forgive them to let go to get past it you know to be okay with never getting an explanation to be okay with never getting that apology so you see it's entirely up to each one of us to just take that first step to just take that step and stop feeding that pain stop feeding those emotions stop reading those rejection letters stop stalking that ex-boyfriend erase those pictures if you have to delete those conversations stop retelling those stories over and over again while we are obviously never the bad guy and just work on letting go one day at a time because it's really amazing how that fear can birth so much faith how that how that pain can just bring so much purpose how that disappointment can lead to a greater appointment you know personally there are so many things that i've gone through and i go to a place where i look back and i say lord thank you for taking that person out of my life thank you for that rejection thank you for that pain thank you for that failure because it made me who i am you know it made me a better person it developed me i learned of course i'm not saying that we should suppress these emotions that we should become immune to anger and disappointment no by all means cry if you have to assess the situation in all angles so that you can learn from it so that you can help others get help talk to someone if you have to forgive live if you need to start over if you have to but please you have to come to a place where you stop living life blaming everyone else and other people for the person that you have allowed yourself to become you need to rise above your circumstance so that next time when you smile please let it come from a place of within let it come from a place of peace of acceptance of letting go of assurance that better days are yet to come